Okay, I got the, uh, I got everything swapped around. I had to change out. I had to put, uh, take everything off of this base, except for the comb, to include the drum and put it on this base. And then I got the lady um, hooked up. Uh, the drum uh, wouldn't work. For this type of uh, system, as the hole wouldn't catch into here um, when the music was done. In 2006, this thing was repaired by a clock repairman and the person was charged a hundred and thirty seven dollars and seventeen cents I don't know whether that was appropriate back then or not or whether it was too cheap however this clock has not worked since it was repaired in 2006 by somebody who repairs clocks for a living. So this video, this section of this video is for the people who keep telling me that I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And as you can see, when I start the music, the lady, again, once I put this in the house, I'm going to have to adjust it. But currently, watch what happens. Lady comes out of the house. The music plays. And when the music is done... She's going to go back in the house. So for the people who keep telling me that I need to quit telling people things because I don't know what I'm doing, this is for you and you could suck it. Here I have the uh, roof back on, but I can't really do any adjustments. Until I staple the roof down. I'm trying to do adjustments and I, I can't. So I'm going to have to staple the roof down. I got the clock on my stand. And I got clamped to my desk. And I hope you all can see this with me working on it. I had to take the dial off because the cuckoo was slapping the door so taking the dial off you can get to that tab that I told you releases the cuckoo locking lever and now The cuckoo's not slapping the door. I got the little girl to come out and the door to close. I'm going to try to uh, trip the music. I still have to adjust the uh, weight some, but let me see if I could. I need to uh, bend the wire more. I stapled the roof down, so now I'm going to have to take the uh, music box out because the she's not coming out that far. But she does go back in. First time since 2006 that this clock has functioned properly or halfway properly. It will finish by the time... It will function properly by the time I'm done. But 
We are getting there. And with my stand, I could take the movement out easily. Uh, sorry, the clock out easily. Put it back in easily. And I could sit here and work on it. If I had the uh, the weight for everything connected, I could sit here and adjust it all. Um, I would go ahead and connect the uh, wire that connects to this wire to trip the music, but because I have to adjust that wire some, I'm not going to uh, connect that wire. I might be able to bend it with these uh, tools that my buddy convinced me to get. These are tools for bending wire. You can put it on the wire and bend it how, how you need it. I was using a screwdriver that I made that does the same thing. Stand by and I'll get that. With a screwdriver similar like this, I use a screwdriver for uh, putting the uh, pivots into the proper holes. But you can also put it on wire to bend if I had it slotted enough, you could do the same thing as what this tool does. But see, there's a deep slot in there, probably an inch, where I only have an eighth of an inch or so in this. But I use this tool mainly to uh, uh, put the pivots when I'm putting the movement back together as push or pull push or move the pivots to uh, put them into the proper spot in the pivot hole but we are getting there and as you can see I did cross the chains just like I did on my buddy's uh, clock I still have to um Figure the the lover or the the boy, the girlfriend's boyfriend, and, um, to put him on the ladder and get that adjusted. And I still have to repair that bellow, but we are getting there. I made uh, some adjustment with my fingers, and so uh, let me trip the wire I have to adjust the uh, wheel that lifts this thing up and down it's not quite there when she comes out I need to adjust her so she comes back in but the door is opening further what do y'all think of this video set so far? Please leave me comments. Sometimes you have to go back to the basics. That's working. The clock didn't come with uh, this movement because the way they had it set up didn't come with the spring. So I added a spring and you could see it works.
it just wasn't working a while ago, so I had to uh, tighten it up. And here you can see that I have a paper clip going from the roof through the uh, wood platform or the music box. And I got one down here also. That way I can push the music box up and put that screw in. And then I could take my paper clips out and put the screws in. Like I showed you in a previous video where I was working on my friend's clock, shoving a piece of wire down the roof through the screw holes helps you line up the screw holes. That way you don't make extra screw holes. I did some adjustments. I got her uh, music box back in. And uh, let's see what happens. I need to bend the wire that she's on a little bit more. Seems to be uh, stopping the clock some. Now to get to that wire is the only ordeal. She's going out and she's coming back in, which is a good thing. And the music is stopping, the music is playing, but I wonder if it'll play when I add this lever that makes the boy climb the ladder. I'm happy with that. Now I have to uh, bend this wire, which stops the music from playing while it cuckoos. And I have to add this wire to this lever, which actually trips the music after it cuckoos. And it should only play the music on the hour, if it plays it on both the hour and the half hour, that means this black lever is bent too far to the right. So you have to bend it to the left some so it doesn't play on the half hour. But right now I'm going to take a, a break. Hope y'all are enjoying this video set. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it's free and I don't care what I do. Um, but, you know, people tell me all the time that I don't know what I'm doing. Well, whoever worked on this clock before where they stapled the wire for this girl to the front housing of this case instead of fixing it properly and breaking off the housing for the music 
here it is right here. They broke the hole that that wire goes through to um, to have the girl attached to this music housing. They don't know what they're doing. I think I'm pretty good at figuring these things out. What do y'all think? Now, the easiest way to explain on how to adjust this music box compared to the side-mounted music boxes, the side-mounted music boxes have a plastic tube that you push down and adjust to get the last note of the music box because if it continues to play the lever that goes into the hole will go into the hole so far that when the music is tripped the lever will not want to come out of the hole so the plastic tube is to stop the governor fan at the last music note uh, to put the um, comb in the middle of the music notes. And this copper piece right here, you should be able to see that. This copper piece right here, is kind of like that plastic tube. You have to adjust this plas uh, copper, this 90 degree um, bend to get the fan to stop at the last note or in between the last note and the next notes when the music is done. And then, um, because the music only plays on the hour, you have to adjust this black lever to pull out this just on the hour. And as you can see between the bend and the wire that's connected to the music box and this black lever there's quite a bit of space um in this particular system you have to have that quite a bit of space because the way i got this black lever now you can unscrew this screw and uh, try to adjust it that way but it's a pain it's easier to bend this black lever right here you don't want to bend it back and forth because it's metal and it will break so my minor adjustments and then this wire right here when the cuckoo is doing its thing this wire comes up to the fan and stops it from rotating. Now, if this wire goes really far into the music box, it's going to cause the cuckoo to continue cuckooing. So make sure that you have space in between this wire and the music governor. And so, um, when the cuckoo is all done, the way, because this thing is attached to the lift lock lever, when the lift lock lever drops into position, <clears throat> sorry, not the lift lock lever, the rack stop lever. Because this wire is attached to the rack stop lever, when the rack stop lever drops underneath the ra uh, rack, when it's done cuckooing, this wire will go to the left, allowing the music to play.
I think it's time now to um, glue the ladder on and to uh, put the guy on. Now this ladder is coming apart, so I'm going to put some glue on it. I think if you were missing the ladder, that you could probably take some, uh, some Chinese chopsticks and some, uh, barbecue skewers. And after I get this thing together, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think you could probably take some Chinese chopsticks and or barbecue skewers that are bigger than these. These are just the 3.75 inch skewers, but they make bigger ones out there. I've seen them. And then you could take some of these barbecue skewers after you drilled holes and you can make a ladder if you're missing a ladder and some of them are missing the ladder now this space here is for this wire hook to go up and down and this guy, on this one, he's got little wires. I don't know if you can see that, but that way he can uh, slide up and down this ladder. Let's see? And that wire is for him is to go into this hole right here of his body, the top hole. Now, if you search, you know, when I was working on my buddies, uh, East Meckenbecker, Farmer's Daughter's Clock, I searched YouTube videos on repair of this farmer's daughter's clock and there is none out there except for mine. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there showing you this thing in operation, but there's none, no videos whatsoever except for my videos of repairing this clock and so East Meckenbecker clocks are a challenge the way that they design their clocks they are a challenge I love their clocks do not get me wrong I love their clocks but they can be a challenge to put together now I don't know if you can see this so I'll bring it camera over but there's two holes in the bottom there one right here and one right here for that ladder to connect to so I'm going to glue that ladder to those two holes and there should be an extra runner right here 
but I don't have one. So I'm going to put one on there with a toothpick. I think the toothpicks are about the same diameter of these runners. So I'm going to put a toothpick in there. I just have to uh, cut it off. I'm going to mark it here so I can cut it off. And then glue this toothpick in. And I'm sorry that this video set is a long set, but I was wanting to show y'all step-by-step procedures on me repairing this clock. I'm just putting a point on this toothpick so I can stick it in the holes of this ladder. And I think that I need to cut some more off. Maybe not. Yeah, I need to cut some more off. Because it's pushing out the ladder. Like I said, I was just uh, sharpening the toothpick so I could put it in the holes of the ladder. And I think that looks good. But I'm not going to glue it in until I um, put this ladder into these holes. Because they need to be just right. And I like this baking soda and super glue treatment idea. It makes it extremely hard. So now I can uh,
I didn't realize there's a nail up here. Sorry for moving the camera. But there's a nail right here that holds the ladder in place. So, hopefully I can put this guy on this ladder. I should have put him on before I glued. Oh, there we go. Now, to put this wire on. I think I need I think I need to trip the music lever up Oh, my buddy's clock, I put the lever up in that top section I was telling you about. But I need... I need this weight up here. That way it can fall down again. But the only way to get that weight up there is to, um, I think, is to put that wire that connects to him in the bottom section. Doing it. 
I'm looking at that wire versus a guy. And when I push him up, he goes up the ladder, but this weight is not where I want it. And I think I might have to bend that wire. Because I want it up here, up on, t I want the weight up here, up on top. That way, as this uh, lever turns around, like so, it drops and it lifts the guy. But when I turn that lever, you see, when I turn that lever, It's pushing that wire down. I'm just playing with that lever to see what I need to do. And here that guy climbs that ladder like that. But in order to do that, I have to reroute this chain. I have to redo this. Because to me, it only makes sense that the curved part, let me, to me, it only makes sense that the curved part of this wheel would hit the wire. The curved part of this wheel would hit the wire on this lever. And it's very possible 
that the wheel is placed on wrong because in order to hit the uh, in order to make the guy go up and down this wheel has to go this way but It doesn't make sense that the flat part of the wheel is forcing this guy down. It makes more sense that the curved part of the wheel would be moving this lever. Like that. So, let me see what happens when the curb part of that wheel moves that guy. Okay, but in the current position, when I push the curb part of the wheel, stupid camera, in the current position, when I push the curb part of the wheel, the wire goes down and it has nothing to do with that guy. That wire needs to go up. So I think I'm going to uh, turn that wheel around. So stand by. It was simple to get this plate off. It has two screws. And now I can access this wheel. Like I said, I think I'm going to put it, turn it around like this and see what happens. With it turned around. Putting the screws back in. This one was simple to access. My buddy's clock was a little bit different. You know, they, uh, sometimes they change how they build these things. And this one, because the date of the door shows that it was made in six of 68 the movement was replaced so you can't go by the date on the movement which was uh, 1986 Um, something happened. 
I got my chains mixed around. So stand by and let me fix that. Okay, the way this thing is designed, you can only put this wheel on one way in order for if I turn this wheel this way the rubber wheel isn't moving but if I turn it this way the rubber wheel moves so I have to figure a way to make that lever hit this the curved part going it has to hit the wheel and I want it to hit the curved part that way it's a smooth operation. If it hits this part, maybe it'll work. But to me, it should hit the curved part. If I put light pressure on it, the wheel turns, but if I stop the wheel and put this pressure on it, the wheel doesn't turn. But if I turn it this way and hold the wheel, then the wheel does turn. So it's supposed to turn this way. So I'm going to have to figure out the routing of the chain in order to make that wire go up. As you can see, when I push down on this weight, the man comes up. And the toothpick that I put in there, it was stopping the man because the toothpick was sticking out of the ladder. So I had to grind it off. It was sticking out on the edge of the ladder, preventing the wire that's connected to the, the boyfriend to come up. So now I have to get this wheel to push this thing down and the boy will be climbing his ladder the weight causes him to fall back down the weight of him causes him to fall back down this is the trip lever this piece right here that I'm pushing on which is this piece right here it was also bent <clears throat> so I straightened it out down here So, we're getting there. Now I just have to figure out how to activate this wheel to push it down. Well, I uh, broke this off trying to adjust it, trying to figure it out. 
the uh, wheel needs to go this way down like I said the uh, the weight needs to go down to make this guy go up in the air but currently when the music is activated Watch out happens. I get that. The lady comes out. The wheel is spinning the other way. And I can't figure out how to make it. go the other way so far. But I said I'm going to have to solder this back on so it's more work. But the good news is the music is playing. The bird goes out comes back in. The girl comes out goes back in. The guy on the ladder is going up and down like you know when you raise the wire so this is the first time since 2006 that this clock prior to 2006 because it was repaired in 2006 so this is the first time since this clock is getting close to being done. Um, so I will figure it out. I will get it going. I don't care what everybody says about me. I have lots of people on my YouTube channel telling me thanks for helping them out that's the video that they needed like i said you search east meckenbecker farmer's daughter's clock or lover's clock whatever you want to call this you will not find a youtube video out there other than mine that shows you how to repair them so for all those people for talking negative about my videos, telling me I don't know what I'm doing. I challenge you to post a video on the East Meckenbecker Farmer's Daughter's Clock or the East Meckenbecker Woodsman's Clock or the East Meckenbecker Church Clock. You know, put your money where your mouth is. All it took was a simple routing of the chain, and now the wheel spins the way I want it to, to where that wheel comes back and to the front versus coming from the back and going to the front. Um, anyway, it's spinning clockwise if you were to look at it and that's the way I need it to spin versus it um, sorry it, it's it's currently spinning anti-clockwise if you look down on the wheel and that's the way I need it to spin before it was spinning clockwise now the only thing I have to do is solder this piece back on I tried soldering this piece and it didn't work. And I then I went, because I suck at soldering, and then I went to this steel stick. And I've used this stuff before, not on clocks, but on different things. And it's got a strength of 4,000 PSI. Set time, five minutes, cure time, one hour.
but because where it's broke, it didn't work. So what I'm going to do is this wire comes out is make a new wire. That's my only option left. I think I can make a new wire out of a coat hanger. I think it's the same size wire or thereabouts. I guess it's uh, electrical fencing wire. Well, first of all, this wire that goes in the clock is 1.5 four millimeters this wire is 1.2 millimeters the coat hanger wire is 2.3 millimeters this wire the problem with it is it bends real easily so I don't know if it would work uh, because it bends real easily and because it bends real easily functioning the ladder it might bend and cause everything to mess up I went with the coat hanger but I'm gonna have to uh, sand it down some only where it goes into the little man and where it goes into that slot back there, it's a little bit too thick. Here I am, <clears throat> almost got it sorted out. I'm just working on the wire that goes into the brass piece here. Um, right now it's at 1.6 millimeters and this was again 1.4 millimeters and what I'm doing is of course I got my cup and my paper towel and a cup of water so when this thing gets too hot but maybe y'all can see it. Got a sanding disc on my Dremel. Just following it around the wire. And when it gets too hot, I dip it in the water. I almost had the uh, coat hanger um, fixed when I bent it and it broke. And so I made another one out of a coat hanger, but I think I'm going to go with the uh, this roll of wiring because. I told you it was easy to bend. I heat treated it and now it's still bendable, but it's not easy to bend. So I'm going to try that. And uh, for the purpose, because this video is getting too long, I'm going to speed things up and I'm not going to show you some things. I think I got things sorted out. girls came out the guys climbed the ladder first time since 2006 that this clock has actually worked I think uh, the wire is stopping the clock and that's I gotta sort that out but anyway First time since 2006
And before then, since this clock has, the boy has climbed the ladder and the girl has came out. When you set this up, when I had to set this up, the, the wheel here has to catch the wire itself. It cannot catch this weight. If it catches the weight, it will sit there and almost push down on it, but it won't push down on it. It has to hit the wire. So... As you can see, it's pushing down on the wire. The counterweight is bringing it back up. So about time to put the bellows in and fix all that. On a side note, what do y'all think of my stand? It's a portable stand that if you do this for a living, you could take it to your customer's house and uh, work on the cuckoo clock at your customer ha customer's house. Instead of having them to hold it. Now in a pinch. You could use two. Kitchen chairs. But I would suggest to you. That you take a rope. Or a tie down strap. Or a bungee cable. Or something. And connect from one side. To the other side. Because in the process of you working on those clocks, the kitchen chairs could slip out from underneath that clock, and you don't want that to happen. I would also suggest if you were going to take this to your customer's house, that underneath on the bottom side of the clamp, you have a board underneath their table because you don't want to put indentations on a customer's table even if it's underneath it because they will get mad got to keep the customer happy but anyway um this clock is getting there One more time. The girl comes out. I, I'm going to have to adjust that wire on the girl. But the ladder, as you can see with this wheel, the, the little man is going up and down the ladder. Now on this clock... I added this wire, and I'll show you why. This is the bellow that they had for it, and there's an eyelet back here. And that eyelet sits up way too high. I could add this wire to the eyelet, I guess. Uh, but on my buddy's clock, there's a wire that goes from here to here to uh, make the farmer raise his pitchfork. And when I moved that wire, you could see him raising his pitchfork with me having that wire connected the way it is. And this is my buddy's clock. Sorry for moving things around. Over here is what I was telling you that goes and trips the uh, the farmer to make his pitchfork move. Every time it cuckoos, the high note lift, lift, uh, bellow trips the uh, farmer from this wire here. So, comes up. 
I added that short piece of wire and every time it cuckoos he will move his pitchfork now I might do another video uh, on this later because I still have to adjust that wire uh, for the music box uh, but I just want to show you that the cuckoo is working properly. He's lifting his pitchfork up and down. And again, I don't have the, uh, the wire attached uh, for the uh, music. Because I had to take the movement all the way back out because my, what I like to call Pac-Man, came off on me. So I had to take the movement all the way back out and put it back on. And even though this clock was made in, uh, sorry, this clock was made in 1966, I believe. That's what I said. The movement is not an East Smack and Becker movement in it. And it's dated 1986. So 20 years later, approximately, they swapped out the movement. Or in 2006, when they tried to fix the music box, they might have swapped out the movement then. But we'll play the music for you one more time. If I could get my big head in there and trip it. As you can see the ladder, and the guy is going up the ladder. She's coming out of the box, and he's coming down the ladder. So. This movement hasn't been like this since at least 2006. The reason I uh, want to stop this video now is because uh, this video is going to be a long video and I want to put out everything that I got on it. I also want to show you this. I end up having to uh, get my clock back in there. I end up having to put the uh, the lever. These clocks are so fragile, and I need a. Uh, I need a butterfly nut on here. I end up having to put the uh, wire on the bellow. Not like in my friend's clock, but I had to put the wire on the bellow because on this clock, the guy has the pitchfork raised so far up in the air that for me attaching that wire that short wire from here to here was causing a bind on the cuckoo so again i hope y'all like this video set please leave me comments and when i got the thing all back together i might do another short video on it but like I said, in repairing this, even though I was being careful, the, I caused some damage. So I have a lot of work to do to it still. And I still have to um, trim up the, sorry, um, touch up the roof where I took those boards off. I still got to put those boards on. 
I still have to put um, part of the ladder that was on that wasn't on there when I got the clock. But the clock is functioning as intended. I hope y'all like this video set. May God bless. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. It's for the people who don't like my videos or who keep uh, um, giving negative comments about my videos. I get comments all the time agreeing with what I'm saying or thanking me for helping them out. Here, thank you for sharing this about moving the hands backwards. Not good, and you are right. Thankful, Ben, and I don't care if it's old or new. Don't do it. Thanks for sharing. It is good common practice to move the hands in a clockwise position. Yes, regular was designed. A regular rack and snail movement was supposed to be designed to move the hands backwards. But if you are moving the hands backwards when the clock is in warning, it will bend things. And I'm sure the company Regula will tell you the same thing. So for the people who keep complaining, you know, things were designed to function, but they were only designed to function at a certain time span. For example, if you were driving your car and you have it set on cruise control at, let's say, on the highway at 75 miles an hour, and then if you don't take off your cruise control, and you're driving in town and you accidentally hit the resume button on your cruise control, you go from doing 30 miles an hour to 75 miles an hour in a hurry and you're going to cause an accident. So the resume button was designed to resume your speed that you were going but, again, it was designed on the for the highway. So, if you accidentally hit the resume while you're in town and you were previously doing 75 miles an hour, you are now doing 75 miles an hour or on your way to do 75 miles an hour in town and it will accelerate fast and so the manufacturers of the cruise control will tell you that it wasn't designed for you to be using it in town another comment thanks again another comment from jim on on the bushings, you know, there I, I, I get people who thank me all the time, and people that I don't even know. Very useful, the info. I have learned a lot watching these video. Appreciate so much the time you take to make them available for everybody. I get comments like this all the time. I have been asked to do a a uh, live video chat um, for an overseas country. Uh, the reason I've been asked to do that, it never did happen and they had to get permission 
from the German um, company where they buy their cuckoo clocks. But they watch my vid YouTube videos all the time on cuckoo clocks. It's a country that started a cuckoo um, uh, sales um, company in a foreign country. They're the only shop that sells cuckoo clocks in that company. And they watch my YouTube videos all the time and show them to their customers in case their customers have a question or a problem with their cuckoo clocks. So the whole point of this end of this video is to say I must be doing something right because people are watching my channel and I'm getting subscribers every day from my YouTube videos. So for those people who have a problem with my YouTube videos, I challenge you to make your own YouTube videos and post them on YouTube. If you think that you could do better, I doubt if you do because you're afraid that my YouTube videos are going to take away from your business. I have a friend who is not worried about my YouTube videos. He is turning down customers because he stays busy. I have to add this video. Hi Mark, recently was asked to fix a Smeckenbecker wood chopper cuckoo clock without water wheel. As this is my first time working on a cuckoo clock, or any clock for that matter, your video was very helpful. The music box to this clock was completely gone except for a couple parts. Do you have a video on how to install the music box? Thanks for advance. And then I tell him, I do have a video on the music box. It is most watched video. If you are a subscriber to my channel, it is a video that is planned when you open up my channel. Within that video, I explain it is the same system as the woodchopper clock. So here a person is, never worked on a cuckoo clock or a clock, and my video has gotten a clock up and running except for the music box so far.